What's going on YouTube? John from JohnTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import your own custom fonts from your desktop into ClickFunnels, okay? So this is going to be really, really cool. Um, but before we get into that, definitely subscribe, hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Check out my Instagram, at JohnTheMarketer, and check out my blog. I'm redesigning it soon, so definitely go check that out, blog.JohnTheMarketer.com. All right, all of that and more in a second. <laughs> All right, so what you want to do is you want to go to your digital assets area. Now, before you actually upload the font to your digital asset area, we are going to make sure that you have the font downloaded. So you need to do download the font, and um, I have a font here called Riley Grotesque. I have all the font files, so ideally you can upload all these different font files. Uh, I'll just upload the first one, and what you want to do is you want to click on New Asset. Okay, so this is going to require that you uh, upload the OTF file, which is the font file, into ClickFunnels. Okay, so we're going to go choose file, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go downloads, and then we're going to go to the OTF file that I just downloaded, uh, and then we're going to select one of these fonts. I like the extra bold. It kind of gives me that like pop that I, I want to use in, in my funnel. So we're going to click on open here and we're going to give this a name. You can just name it um, the font name, right? So just so that you know for organizational purposes. All right. And then that's all you have to do. You click on add. Now, oh, I can't have that dash there. And I have to reselect the file now. Okay. Hold on one second. So let's go back here. Boom. All right. Add. Boom, okay, so now it's it's there. So now we're gonna go to this font and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, copy this uh, file here, okay? That's all we need to do is copy the file. After you copy that file, what you wanna do is you just wanna go to one of the fu funnels. So um, I was testing this funnel out, so I'm just gonna go into this test funnel and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on edit page here and I was testing the new PayPal integration on ClickFunnels, which is awesome. I'll definitely record a video on that. Um, but then all you wanna do is you want to go to the custom CSS area. Now, I'm going to put a line of code down below so you can use this for your actual funnels. But let's just paste this here for now. And then I'm going to actually go into my notepad section where I actually keep all my uh, CSS and stuff here uh, that I use in some of my funnels. And I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give this down below. Um, and now that we have this copied, I'm just going to create a new line here and then paste that in. And then I'm going to cop double click and copy that file that we just put up there. Uh, we're gonna delete that we need that though and then what we want to do here is just come over here right and just paste that link that we just copied boom right there all right and that's the OTF file that we have in our digital assets area now what you need to do is grab the headline so let's say we want to change this particular font to that font we just downloaded all you have to do is go to settings go to the custom CSS info area double click get the temp CSS ID selected which is temp underscore headline um, and then we're going to go back to the custom CSS area and then we're just going to paste that here. Okay. Um, and then if you did it correctly, your font should change to the font. So there we go. So you can't have, um, so what, what happened there? It, it didn't change now because this was on a separate line. You see how that was there. So if, if it's on a separate line, it changes back, but just make sure that's all on one line. Okay. So like that little, this little thing right here, um, needs to be on one line with the actual font file okay and then you can see that this changed right this whole font changed and don't uh like when you do this this is uh like the setting icons and everything like the the move the settings the clone delete and the add a new element icons are all gonna like re basically get removed uh, and that's because when you're changing the font the font of the whole entire uh, element changes so including these little icons and buttons so it's changing the fonts of these particular buttons so that's why it looks it looks like a square rather than the actual icons here you see all right so that's essentially how you do it. it's very quick very easy all you have to do is upload the OTF file to your digital asset area copy that and then paste it in the code that you'll get down below you can also change the font family um, and then you can also change uh, the fonts weight as well. I just kind of keep it as is. It's just like the way that I have have it set up. Um, and then once you once you have it, you you know you can have the font actually here. And then you can change the size of the font. 
etc right and that's that's essentially how you do it guys it's very very easy so all you have to do is uh follow this tutorial and then grab the little css line of code that i have provided down below and then you can actually do the same thing with your funnels using custom fonts that you have on your desktop just all you have to do is find the otf file upload it into the digital asset area and there you go you just put it inside of the css uh code that i provided and then just make sure that you're getting the um the get css info and then getting the css id selector and then placing that in this area here that's it that's all it is to it that's it for today's video super quick video but i wanted to show you how to do this because it's super cool if you don't have click funnels yet definitely get an account click the link down below uh and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe hit that alert button check me out on instagram at jelani the marketer and check out my blog blog thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video